Hello world, lockpicking dev. If you're going to DEF CON 30 this year and you're wondering what you should do, stop by the lockpicking village and say hi and learn to pick a lock or do one of the cool ass workshops we got going on. Um, I'm pretty sure we have some cool stuff going on from what I've seen in preview. And uh, before we get on today's video, we are about at 200 videos and 500 subscribers as well. So let's do a giveaway. Um, I have brought a couple locks and a couple picks. Uh, I finally have some of my gorgeous blue Mako 425 logo padlocks in, and then um, this uh, pack lock. But anyway, we have a Mako 425. I love the blue on these. These look great. Of course, a logo lock, six pins, security pins, and these are just great fun locks. I have a pack lock. UCS 2A, another six pin, and another really fun lock. These, again, if you haven't had a pack lock yet, these are also just great locks. These are really fun to pick. And then we have a medium hook. Let me get the damn camera to focus there. There we go. We have a medium hook, a paddock medium hook. This is a 19 thousandths metal so perfect almost you know every lock use not too thin not too thick and then we also have a dimple pick an interchangeable dimple pick this is for um multi-pick tips so we got our screw right there and i'll include a uh, little allen wrench with it of course and it takes there we go you can see it is interchangeable for multi-pick pick flags just tripping over my words but yes uh i haven't gotten any of these out to the public yet so i'm excited about getting one of these dimple picks out anyways everybody gets two entries so you can have your chance at getting uh two items or one or if you're unlucky none but you know how it goes with giveaways so type two things below that you want if you want the mako 425 type mako down below if you want the pack lock UCS 2A, type pack lock. If you want the medium uh, 19 thousandths medium hook uh, paddock handle, type hook down below. And if you want the interchangeable dimple uh, pick flag handle, type multi pick down below. And again, everybody gets two entries, uh, so you can type uh, two items. So if you want the Mako and the Pack Lock, type Mako and Pack Lock. If you want the Hook and Mako, type Hook and Mako. Um, I figured since I'm giving away four items, let's just make it a little bit different and fun. And again, I will announce the winners when I get back in three weeks after DEF CON and a little road trip. And as of for today, I am going to be picking a... ASA Max Plus. Uh, this one is a little bit uh, of an achievement for me. I'm pretty proud of it. The ASA barrels are just a real pain in the ass. They are, it's a different game. It, to me, it was like learning Medico. It was the first time I had to like really put some effort and it, it was great learning for the first time in a while since Medico. So anyways, this, this video is long and <laughs> because it, uh, I picked it the opposite direction and man, sometimes you just can't feel the things, especially when you have really high pins and you can see when I start. Alrighty everyone, enjoy, thanks for watching, and good luck in the giveaway. And also, see you at DEF CON! Alright, today we have an ASA Abloy Max Plus. You see it does have a sidebar cut on it. It is the, yes, UHS sidebar cut, because I did get it from UHS hardware, but the sidebar is not active in this. What is active are the six pins with the counter milling and ASA barrels. <clears throat> I have not picked this with six pins yet. And I've been trying to pick this clockwise, so I'm actually going to try to do counterclockwise now this time. And I like this lock, and I, because you have to do the jiggle test for it, and I refuse to get my brown belt without knowing the jiggle test, so. Let's get it open. Four. 
Going this way, that is definitely overset. And reset it. Six is always feeling just stiff, no matter which way you go on it. And I constantly seem to overset it. It's not feeling stiff now. A little click on five. Right now, we're really just trying to put everything up in the counter milling. So maybe actually, maybe that's what that means. Maybe six is in the counter milling right now. Okay, so let's continue. There's three. One. Six is still really stiff, so I can leave that alone. Five feels really stiff, let's leave that alone. Feels like it. A little hard to get with this pick. There we go. Yeah, let me switch picks to get that real quick. Two. Some five are still really stiff. Just, yep, yeah, over, set, one there, so I'm trying to, get it down. There we go. One might be set. It's really stiff, so I think we need to start doing a jiggle test on some things now. Two is not jiggling. I'm gonna try to. It's not ready to lift. Let's go back to our deep pick here. Okay, six in the back is still really stiff. Five is still. There we go. Oh, we need to click on five. Four, two, one. Where it is? That's five.
six still really stiff just the whole time. Five as well. Five is. I think five is set. See if we can set six now. Okay, no, it's still really stiff, so we're just going to move on. There you go. Six. Go back and jiggle test six. I don't feel a jiggle on it at all. Still really stiff. Let's check five. A little click on five there. Four. Under two here, it feels super stiff. I'll switch picks for that because it has an awkward angle. So let's make sure it's. Yeah. I think it's set. Yeah, 
this one's being a pain in the ass to get to. Um, <clears throat> let's try this pick. Here we go. Pin two. Feels set. Three. Two still feels stiff. Go to through and check everything else to make sure first. I want to click on four there. I'll click on one. I think one may be set. might be set, but I can't tell because it's hard to get under it, right? focus. Maybe this do a little bit better. Hopefully that wasn't too long because I was really focused. on two. A little click on one. I think one. Set. Thought that before, but I mean, got some more clicks out of it. Let's see. Chick will test it, right? I feel like it's hard to get under one for it, but let's see. add some tension to it and give a nice little push, yeah, I think we're good, let's leave it alone. Yeah. 
six, five, both feel. I wonder if I should just change picks. <coughs> Let's go back to original. So I'm a little bit more stiff, thicker. Hopefully the angle of this pick doesn't screw with me though. That is kind of the problem here. Back. Look like out of three. Get under that one. Yep, there we go. if I'm putting too much tension on. Just heard that all drop. Six is set. Five alone. More on one again. So I'm probably going back and forth in here a little bit. Either that or because I'm not exactly going fast when I'm putting stuff in the milling either. I could just be making progress. springiness on six so we're gonna to try to well even letting a lot of tension off isn't lifting it so I'm not sure it really needs to be lifted it might just be a really small jiggle that I can't feel that well Same with five. A little bit of three there. sure that it is good. It's so freaking high up. Fine. 
pin 3. Felt like a real set there. Listen, y'all. It's hard as hell to feel the jiggle in these. Let's be real. Sometimes, specifically for this one, because they're all really high or really low. Nothing on six. Nothing on five. Four. is set like yeah I can feel the jiggle in two one there it is hell yeah there's our open one was really high up there Whew. that's what we were waiting on holy hell all right I'm gonna zoom out uh, give me just a second here. Whiskey time. And, like I said, this was why it took so long. These in the back are really low. So, just this going in here almost hits it. Same with that one. Same with number two. One is all the way up there. So you can't even tell. When I first got this lock... I had to open it up to make sure that that was a pin. That is a zero cut pin behind our tension wrench. And it is a pain in the ass. So, keeping the lock in view here. <clears throat> Move our picks out of the way. And I am going to go ahead we do see that it is picked. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it just to make this easier for me so I don't have to try to hold on to things. I really wanna get another one of these locks with an easier bidding just to make myself feel better because <laughs> this, this sucked, man. That high low just sucks. And we are going to, uh, because the key sticks out a little bit, align it with the holes on our follower here. This is a follower I 3D printed. And let's get our Let's check something. Um, so the one in the back isn't quite zero cut where it's flat. There's just barely any left on it. There we go. There's our key pins. And as for our driver pins, I 
asses are um, not one of those locks where you can just pull the um, follower out and just organize them because they're all the because these are not all the same height they make sure that their drivers are um, a specific height to go with their key pins that way all have the same spring tension on them and oh, let me get the key as well Maybe easier to hold that up there and there are our pins so you can see that we have our ass of barrels all the way down you can see what I mean by different sizes so our key in the back where it's a nice low cut with a big key pin has you know smaller driver etc there's that and let's see if we can get our yeah our counter milling on here and here is the counter milling inside the lock itself let me actually get a light it might help a little bit here we go so you can see the counter milling in there And that is that. Very fun lock it took forever. And that jiggle test is everything, everybody. Seriously, everything. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these. Again, you can get them from UHS Hardware Online. Uh, good price, I think 35 bucks. This is the ASA maximum plus and it is um, just take it and start with one pin then go to two and then three and work your way up that's exactly what uh, anxious uh, anxious picker did and um, actually when I was learning this I just kind of followed his videos uh, as I was sitting here picking this just to kind of listen to tips and stuff as I was going through it just to kind of get the mindset and it kind of helped out so, uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Anxious Picker for the video and Justin McSlappy and Naswek for their jiggle test videos. And then, of course, if you are um, currently uh, going to LockCon, or not LockCon, DEFCON, sorry. If you're going to DEFCON, I will definitely see you there. I will be working the lock picking village um, for all of my shifts. So please stop by and um, say hi. Sorry about that video cut because it was so long. Um, anyways, like I was saying, yes, yeah, stop by the lock picking village, say hi, see one of our cool ass workshops. I'm, I'm, a, I seen a preview of what we got going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, if you want to get involved in the giveaway here, uh, comment Mako down below for the Mako padlock, pack lock down below for the pa uh, pack lock UCS 2A. Uh, this is a Mako 425 by by the way logo padlock. And then comment hook for our paddock medium hook. This is 19 thousandths. And comment multi pick for our multi pick interchangeable flag handle. Alright, everyone, hope you enjoyed watching and keep a lookout. In three weeks, when I get back from DEF CON and from the road trip, I will announce the winners. Thanks for watching.